Hi there and welcome to this two minute tips video and today we're going to be looking at shutter speed and aperture lock. Hi there and welcome to this video on shutter speed and aperture lock in the Nikon Z series cameras. There may be times and certain situations where you not only want to be in um, shutter or aperture priority on the camera but you actually want to lock the shutter speed or aperture. Now this may be because you're in a particular situation such as perhaps where you're shooting a fast moving object like motorsport where you want to lock a specific fast shutter speed or perhaps you're shooting multiple portraits and you want to have exactly the same depth of field for consistency between them all and therefore you want to lock in a particular aperture and you don't want to be able to knock it out of that aperture and it would ruin the shoot if you did. Because when we talk about shutter speed and aperture lock, lock is actually locking it to a fixed aperture or shutter speed. So how do we set this up? Well, you go into the menu settings and go to the custom settings menu. Scroll down to option F4, which is shutter speed and aperture lock. And if you go into there, you'll see two options, shutter speed lock or aperture lock. Now, depending on the mode you've got your camera in, one or both of these may be available. If you're in manual mode, then both will be available. You can turn them on or off and you can do that. You can set either both of them to be locked so you can lock your shutter speed and your aperture or you can lock one of them. If you're in aperture priority, then you'll be able to lock the aperture. And if you're in shutter priority, you'll be able to lock the shutter. If you're in um, program mode, then neither will be available and the menu item will be greyed out at the, in the custom settings menu. Within each of the options to lock the shutter or the aperture, you can choose to turn it on or off. It's a fairly simple setting. When you've actually locked one or both of the um, either the shutter speed or the aperture, you will see on either the display, um, the top LCD if you've got one, or in the EVF or on the LCD, a little L in a box at the top left of either the shutter speed or the aperture, denoting that it is locked. And I've been caught out by this before where I've perhaps knocked the settings and it's locked and I couldn't see why. If you see that little L there, that means it's locked and you've got to go into the menu to unlock it if you want to unlock it. Now, setting it through the menus, the custom setting menu, can be quite long-winded. There's quite a few button presses to get through to there. What you can do is, is of course, assign um, the shutter speed or aperture lock to one of your custom buttons. So that way you can push the... And that way it's much quicker to either lock or unlock the, the shutter speed or aperture. I hope you found this video useful. Let us know in the comments below, do you use this um, functionality? If so, what situations are you finding it really useful in? As always, if you enjoyed the video, do hit subscribe. It does help the channel. Do hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of future videos. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on a future video.